Honey, what did we build? This one. This castle? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good castle. Mm -hmm. I like it. Or not. Or not. It's not like Elsa. Easy, negative Nancy. Get it, Bubba. Donald's in bed winning. This is a cure for fevers, a donut, and the dog. There we go. Put some popsicles. Trace rally. How you feel? Oh, a giant! Resiliency of a four-year-old. Oh, a giant! See a kangaroo. No. Okay. Hey, you did so good. And me? You did great too. Thanks. So smart. Look at your ear. It's got spiders? Yeah. Oh no. Can I see? I heard it has blue tubes. Let me see. I don't see some. Yeah, I just saw them. Let me see. Oh yeah, I can see some. That's good enough. I think they're finding food. I think spiders and we're gonna be separate. They want, they're hungry, but they're not going to find food and we're gonna be like, ow! Like that, honey. And I broke the walls on there. Guys, did great. Ears look good. Tubes look good. I have a sticker. Throats look good. I have a sticker. He has a sticker. I have Whatever Trey has is just viral, so no he antibiotics. Nothing like that. Just wait it out. I don't like pizza. What do you want? So when you're growing a coaching business, there's going to be valleys. Like it is to be expected and I know that. Most people know that, a lot don't though and that's where they, they have a downfall is they hit these valleys and they think that it shouldn't be that way. And the truth is, I believe that the universe tests you and wants to know your level of commitment, wants to know that you are going to move through the uncertainty, that you're gonna continue and persist even when it's difficult. So that's actually one of those times right now where, where I think I'm in the process of a, of a necessary up leveling and things just aren't happening as they are now. So I've made this commitment to myself, this kind of like rule that if I don't generate something during the day, at night I have to go out and I have to drive, drive for Uber. And it makes it difficult now because to kind of backtrack a little bit, this is our car, it's an 03 Galant. Obviously you can't drive that for Uber. 
we had this, we used to have a nice Honda Pilot that I drove, but Courtney and I went through a bankruptcy last year. Um, so what happens when you have massive medical debt that you can't get out from under. And the stories you hear of people in America going bankrupt because of medical debt, like it happens. And not just to people who like get cancer or have these like chronic illnesses or severe accidents. We just had, I had a couple surgeries for my nose. Courtney had one for her knee. She had another surgery and we had two babies and the medical bills racked up in addition to like emergency bills for Trey. And it was our only viable solution at the time. So we filed bankruptcy. Throughout the process, we had filed everything to appeal and keep the, the pilot. It was our only source of transportation. So things got fucked up on Honda's end and they repossessed our car in January. And we left without a car. And we're responsible for getting the kids to and from school. Um, so it, it was rough. We generated the money, we came up with this vehicle and but it's not sufficient to be able to drive uber so we've had to rely on our income from coaching solely aside from one thing so here's the one option i have is of all people my ex-wife lets me use her car to drive uber i pay the insurance on it or whatever but uh when i haven't generated anything in fucking business and I need to pick up some extra funds, or I need to support it, or I want to like invest in something in business, or the kids need something, then I have this option.